as I'm turning to the top, that bubble's just going at the same pace as my body. So it's like, and once that locks and loads, that to me is the real, ch -ch, you know? So that's yeah, just a little additive thought when you take the practice swing. Don't even have to think about it during the swing. And you can just pound it from there. You just pound it. That's the ball flight that I'm used to watching. Right in the back heel. And it was perfect because everything got there at the top together and fired through together. Oh my gosh, dude. One thing that Todd told me back in the day, Sones, my mentor, which I just loved. He goes, you know, he tells me, he's like, listen, the first thing, have you ever lost your draw or just, you just felt like you weren't quite consistent with it or weren't, weren't coming from the inside the way you needed to? More importantly than anything, complete your backswing. But I knew what that meant. People would think complete your backswing, think long swing, get it back there all the way. Our guys, you, you know what that means. It means long body turn short arm swing. It means literally keep your chest facing your hands to the top. So, you know, next tee box, you know, I get in there, I have, it's, it's real easy with the winds coming a certain direction. Sometimes without even thinking, you know, about it, we, we, the arms get longer, the chest stays facing it because we're already trying to maybe flight it. A absolutely. And then when that happens, that club just comes in on, on top of the shoulders and then all of a sudden it's just either the quick left or the, you know, weak out right. So what I would like to see you do is have a cue for that shot. Just have a cue. You know, you're in your, you're in your routine, you already feel the situation, you take ownership of it, you know, hey, this is that time. I want to have that freedom here. We work to that freedom in the, in the routine. All right, here we go. Maybe, we get, maybe the routine all day has been this. Maybe it's just been, heh. Right, and maybe that's all we need. But then this, this tee shot, this one, And watch, deep turn, all that space back here. Look where the hands come back down and you don't have to change anything about your golf swing. And this should be good. Now look at that. That's all he wants to do right there. Just hit that high piercing two-yard draw. Super simple. Oof. How'd that feel? It's good. It just kind of locks up and then you rip through it. That's what I'm saying. Like just, you know, you know what you should feel too? Like literally like this. <laughs> just, <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to get some sound effects. <laughs> So when you use that word locked up, well, all he means is there's that necessary tension that's building up up there. So here's a good thought for you. Like one of the cool things that when you're practicing that, if you're talking like total connection from the ground up, this is a really cool way to explain this cam and this, you know, you've pretty much all heard everything I have to say because we always keep it super simple. But, but this was, I thought a really good one that helps people understand, you know, what's happening from the ground up. If I had to split my feet up and I went through my process, I would say, you know, 70% up here, 30% back here, okay. In that takeaway, you know, a good, it, it all, it, everything stays up here. Everything's on this side. Now, here's the nice part. It then turns and gets to the backswing. So it's there, there, right? Everything breaks through that line as my weight loads. Now, the only way that that golf swing gets off is if that weight gets on this side of the line early, and then the arms have to complete the top of the swing. So a way to make sure that you're always turning your hands to the top, it's not just done, the more I watch golfers, it's not just done with their upper body, it's making sure that that lower body is feeling that pressure, just get right where it needs to be simultaneously. So when you're taking that practice swing, all you can do is you can kind of add the component of where you're feeling that weight. Now here's the cool thing, I equate it to this, for the golfer who didn't like that explanation, how about this one? This is this foot right here is the little uh, um, a scale in a doctor's office that has the little air bubble in it, the little balance thing. The air bubble is indicative of where the weight is. It's starting right here. Now watch, that's like the majority of the weight. As I'm turning to the top, that bubble's just going at the same pace as my body. So it's like, and once that locks and loads, that to me is the real, ch -ch, you know. So. Yeah, just a little additive thought when you take the practice swing. Don't even have to think about it during the swing. 
and you can just pound it from there. And just pound it. That's the ball flight that I'm used to watching. Right in the back heel. And it was perfect because everything got there at the top together and fired through together. That's good. Hey, Cam, another question for you, bud. What's your favorite part about college golf? Uh, I think it's just like the team aspect. Um, especially our team, we all get along great. You know, I have a you know, few friends on that team that are probably gonna be in my wedding one day. It's, uh, it's just, you know, the camaraderie part of it and being able to compete week in, week out with a bunch of dudes. And, you know, it's, I'm sure in pro golf, it gets a little lonely sometimes. So, you know, having guys to always have your back and coaches that, you know, will do anything to help you, it's, it's pretty cool. He got lucky though. He does have a really cool team. His team's awesome. You know, Mason, who also works with us, who's, you know, as a result of Cam and just about one of the coolest guys ever. Blake's hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got some good ones on there. Um, but uh, your coaching staff mm -hmm. has really been, you know, I haven't, I, I mean, just you get a chance to get to know them a little bit. What cool guys. You know, you got really lucky not only having Coach Thurman, but an awesome assistant. You know, and I think that's just, that's, that's a, that's a blessing because I know, you know, it's, it's, um, it's funny, a lot, of, a lot of the kids always come back, you know, oh, coach this, coach that. Well, of course, it's authority, right? I did the same thing when I was, but you don't hear that from the, from the ASU guys. They have a good thing going there. And plus, you got really horrible facilities. I mean, that's a terrible, that's a, the bird's awful. Um, you know, the golf courses they play are terrible. Um, you know, just Arizona State's zero fun. <laughs> so that, other than that, it's great, you know. See, the minute you mention her, the, the power draw comes back. <laughs> like, yeah, and that's a big part he really I mean seriously at a time in his life you know where where hey you know you to get out there at school good looking dude awesome dude like him I mean you can, it's nice he gets, gets a, keeps, keeps it on the straight and narrow he's got an awesome girl who comes and supports him and she's a blast and nothing better than when she shows up to a, with a poor Zach golf hat to a golf tournament I saw and that's I told Parker I'm like Parker this has nothing to do with you today Lexi's out here with a poor Zach golf hat on we're shooting 66. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just is what it is, right? <laughs> I just love Parker, man. That, we, we, had, Cam, we had so much fun out there. He's just cruising. Oh my gosh. Dude. I love that. I love that. Listen, it's, it's a lot different right now than it would be. I mean, not even different. We, we pretty much are the same all the time. We keep it pretty light and have a great time pretty much all the time because we both know that, you know, a lot of the work, I would say, Cam, you know, it's funny. A lot of the work that's put in is sometimes through a simple message or a text message or a call once, you know, in a while when he's during the year. Um, you know, we went up, I went up there once this year. We, we got an awesome opportunity to go cruise around to Stancia. Uh, which was just unbelievable out there. And then you put in the work and he, you know, it was kind of like the initiative of like what the plan was, but there's only a couple times where it's like, hey, here's what we really need to do. Other than that, it's just keeping it very light and having a good time. I mean, really, I think that's the most important thing. I think that, you know, we, he knows what he needs to work on. You could see today, this swing is as a result of the work that's been put in. It's not like they're, he's coming today to find out something groundbreaking that's going to be game-changing for him. Um, you know, a lot of our younger students, it's less than a lesson. You know, Cam used to have those lessons where, hey, dude, this is a huge concept we got to get today. I remember some very definitive ones. The concept of pushing down on handle and takeaway. Oh, my gosh, that was groundbreaking for him, you know, years back. Um, you know, just understanding connection throughout the years. But you know what's cool? We've done the same thing better over and over and over and over and over and we're going to keep doing that that's at least my goal with him and keep reinforcing things that he might already know remind him of something he might have forgotten um you know the little additive of like hey by the way this is great when the hands are facing the chest but you know what's even cooler <laughs> when the weight loads in that right heel simultaneously something like that could have been more than enough to make the day valuable but more importantly it's just getting out here hitting some shots at a different driving range even than the, than the one he's accustomed to sometimes. And, uh, and, and just really, I know it sounds funny, but hanging out. <laughs> I mean, just what's the goal? I want to hang out with the guy and just have some fun. And he's, he's always on the grind. So I know he's always working towards the right thing. And if you know, if you know Cameron like I do, 
there's not really a shot that's ever taken. I would say never a shot taken off. Like you don't see him ever. The only thing would be an imitation of somebody that he does well. I mean, like what's like, who would be an iconic golf swing that you'd want to see? Name one, Gabe. Uh, He's got this. Come back here. Give, it, give him your best Matt Wolf. Best Matt Wolf? Give it, dude. You've got, we got to get at least two out of him. We got to get at least two out of him. <laughs> That's so pure, I know. And dude, I mean, you know what's funny? Other than the moving around beforehand. I mean, I need to keep myself. You need to get a video of this so I can, I know what it looks like. Dude, he slots it so well when he does that. So what he does, he kind of like sinks into it before impact. He kind of sinks into it and then. <laughs> That's the best Matt look. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So that's a great one. There's, Kim, what's one of your favorite ones to do? I saw you. Um, I do my teammates pretty well. You do your teammates, teammates really well. Like even DJ. Oh, yeah. Like. <laughs> I've seen him do the DJ one. <laughs> he did it. That's unbelievable. You get your body to do that, dude. <laughs> Wow, after seeing that though, after seeing those two swings, there are zero excuses why he shouldn't be in the slot and have his chest over the golf ball when I saw him do those two moves. The DJ one like this though, where you get over it and it just goes, that's so good. It's so good. But that really is impressive to have that much awareness to do such drastic changes in the swing well, that actually still make you just made a great point, Gabe, and you should actually leave your rhetoric on there for the viewer to hear because that right there is part of what I wanted to just put Cam on the spot and show you. The, the, that's a privilege to work with that, right? He has the ability. He'll do what you want him to do if he knows it's also right for his golf swing, right? And that's where I think why you see consistency over time with him. People wonder that when they're watching this. When they think when people think about Cameron, I get the same thing from all of our players. The consistency, the consistency, and the consistently good play. Well, what that comes from is obviously he has a club face in his golf swing that has about the least movement of any player I've seen, where it just is moving around his body with his body's rotations. Everything's just moving together, right? Everything goes up to the top and directs itself right through together. That comes from that body awareness, but then also the ability to then work on the right thing over the course of time. Um, but for those who don't know, I mean... That's the guy you want on your on your on your like underhand pitch softball team. That's also the quarterback of your football team if you're playing flag flag football right there. I mean, just an athlete, man. And listen, I can't even give you the credit for that. I mean, we're gonna have to lean over to Dad. <laughs> if you saw the picture of Dad that I just saw for for uh, what was it Father's Day, and, and and Mike was not even throwing up the hard flex. It was just like almost just the motion of the flex. And I'm like, I look at your mom and I'm like, Kirsten. I want to be like Mike when I grow up because that guy is absolutely an athlete. Um, Dad was a firefighter and just a mental giant. And his favorite quote, which Parker familiarized me with during this tournament, Parker's bleeding on his right, on his left ear, like bleeding like crazy. And it's hysterical because I took a picture of it during the round and our score and our pin sheet was on my phone. So every time we had to swipe to get to the pin sheet, his bleeding ear was out there. And every time Parker would see his bleeding ear, he'd go, it would kill a weaker man, or what was it? It would kill. It'd kill the average guy. It would kill the average guy. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.